I came home one day and Bryson had told me he had hit like 10 pairs of the first release of the Yeezy 350 Pirate Blacks. And at that time, those shoes were going for six, seven, eight hundred dollars after the release. The ego in me, the big brother in me, was basically like, I don't want my younger brother to make more money than me. I wanna see what this is all about because he's making some real money right now. I think at that point, my mindset just kinda of turned on sneakers. And when I first got into sneakers, I'll be honest, I was only in it for the money side of it. But fast forward five, six months later, I actually fell in love with the sneakers themselves as well as the culture of the sneakers. We were literally just three kids selling shoes, filming YouTube videos, and it turned into one store. Three guys building a brand under one store, 12 hours a day, literally just us three. I never imagined we'd have the ability to grow a YouTube channel the way we did. And the way us three work together it really built the dynamic of where we are now. The ability of Bryson to be able to film the way he has, put out the content the way we all see it should be put out. It's crazy to think that the three of us came together and made something like this happen. Originally, Common Hype just started as something as a side gig, something that we started to do with wholesaling sneakers and supplying other stores with sneakers. And before we knew it, it kind of blossomed into an idea and the potential for it to be our own company and something that we could bring to the Arizona community and do it in a way that just hasn't been done yet. I was getting involved into uh, sneakers and reselling and wanted to find somebody in Arizona that I could, let's say, learn from and did some research and found that Brandon was actually somebody that was acquiring pairs and moving pairs across town, selling them to stores and stuff. And so I bought some shoes on his site and figured that he didn't want to ship them to me and that he would want to meet up and hand them to me. And we laughed because one of the things that I was uh, impressed by is that he, he rolled up in a 2001 Honda Accord and it just impressed me because here, here's a guy who's in the sneaker business and culture and was not so concerned with his image of what he was driving. He was just so focused on his business. The first impression I had with Brandon was that he was very frugal with his money um, and that if he was frugal with his money, he could build a really successful business. For Bry, over the last 18 months, I've seen grow into something I knew he always could be and always was going to be, but he has only pushed the boundaries on everything he's done. His development, first of all, Bryson's young. You know, when I met him, he was 19. You know, you could say straight out of high school, mom, I'm sorry, but you know, when I met him, he was going to college and in that process stopped going to college and he was getting an education within business that was probably more education. He was getting school from a 19 to a 21 year old over the last two years is really impressive. With Bryson's help, we can really, really excel and pave a way for ourselves because I know Bryson's content is just out of this world. And that's exactly what kind of happened. And it's funny because we talked with Bryson at the beginning and he was like, I'm gonna help you guys for the first six months. And then after that, I'm gonna go do my own thing. Six months later, he was, he was fully all into it because he saw that the YouTube was growing most importantly. And for him being able to put his content out to a large audience was ultimately the goal he's always had as a creator and doing that in a business that he now owns part of, something that he's really passionate about, sneakers, fashion, I think ultimately led him to, to continue to stay with us and that has really propelled the company as a whole. I mean, without the YouTube, we wouldn't be where we are, nowhere near close to where we are right now. I graduated high school and I was in my first year of university um, on an academic scholarship. so leaving college to pursue Common Hype and really dedicate all the time that I had in my life to building this company. It was a huge risk, especially coming from a family of education where school was always the number one importance growing up in my house, having a mom as a teacher with a master's degree. My dad's got an education. Um, I'll actually be the only person in my family to not receive a college degree. It has taken a lot of sacrifice to get here and it's not only with just the things that we do here in the office but with personal relationships, with friends, with family. There's a lot of time that we can't spend doing other things because we're spending it on building this company as big as we can. I mentioned Drew earlier working for us for the past two years before we opened the shop. Having him on the team has been extremely helpful to the business. It's been a blessing to have him just because when Drew's focused and when Drew puts his mind to something, Drew is pretty damn near unstoppable on all cylinders. With the marketing he does, with the management that he does, I mean, the guy knows his stuff. Man, I have seen Drew really develop and become a very intricate part of Common Hype. Drew understands his role 
and he's accepted that and really moved forward in such a way that I've just been really proud of him. When families are involved in business, sometimes we lean more on that family relationship or that friendship. I've seen Drew just really develop in that way and he knows exactly what his role is. I think Drew doing that in this business has helped a lot of the guys in the business understand their role within the business and how they interact because a lot of these guys are close and they're, and they're friends and they interact and I think Drew just sets the stage with that and leads in that way and I've been super impressed with it. Drew's someone that you guys may know as the goofy, funny guy on camera that's always making everyone laugh and he's definitely that but there's also the side of Drew that you guys may not see all the time which is the side of Drew that comes from the e-commerce background, marketing background, clothing line background. He has a lot of tools that he was able to bring to us that we didn't necessarily have experience in and the development that Drew's made over the last couple of years, especially in those specific areas, have really driven us, I think, a lot further ahead of the program than we originally intended to be or thought that we could be at this early of a stage in our journey. For me, Common Hype started three years ago. In 2019, I lost my job. I dropped out of school. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but one opportunity changed my whole life. Being around these two guys has pushed me to levels I never thought I could achieve. The dynamic of three of us has just happened to work in the craziest ways possible, and it's only pushed us to the boundaries we knew we could get to. And for the last 18 months, the progression, the ideas, the concepts we were able to create and come up with have only been in our imagination. And you guys are about to see what we've been working on for the last 18 months. And this is only just the beginning. Brandon's always been someone that when he puts his mind to something, he wants to be the best at it and he wants to succeed and find new ways to do things and ultimately make a progression every single day in one way or another. And I think that he's been able to do just exactly that with this business. And it's been really cool to see him grow as not only a leader, but a businessman in the last couple of years. And just kind of the way he holds himself and the confidence that he's gained, not only in front of the camera, uh, but just making everyday business decisions and these are decisions that the company relies on through him and although some of them may have been a little riskier than others they've all ended up paying off in one way or another not to say we've done everything perfect so far we definitely make all the mistakes that you know most people do but the ability to adapt and learn from those mistakes i think is what has really pushed us all when we joke about brandon literally working 24 7 that man has worked 24 7 for the last three years of his life his ability to buy, create the connections, and have the knowledge to start a business and put us in the positions we have is truly inspiring. You're gonna see probably a few more stores from us, hopefully outside of Arizona, but maybe within the state of Arizona as well. So really the sky's the limit with what we wanna do and the potential we have because we have built such a great team here and that's what I'm most excited for. The sky's the limit for us. So I'm super excited for what we have store here in Common Hype HQ. I'm really excited to share the journey with you guys as well because you guys are ultimately the reason why we're here. Although this is a huge milestone in Common Hype HQ being the biggest thing that we've done thus far, it is not the end for us. There's so much more plans that we have in store, but being able to have the podcast studio, my own office that I'm finally sitting in for the first time, it is huge and it's gonna be able to propel us into the direction that we wanna continue pushing towards. And with the support of you guys, I really do believe that there's nothing we can't accomplish. I'm grateful for every person that has watched the YouTube channels stepped into the store, told us about their journey and how much we've inspired them. The journey and the progression of three kids in their 20s building a business during a global pandemic has only happened because of you guys.
guys for tuning into this video. Before we show you guys the entire store, I gotta let you know, Collection 3 is now live online. We've been selling these brand new shorts in store for the last week, and now they're available for you guys online. We have four different florals right here, all different colorways, and all super fire. These have been selling like crazy, so they're gonna be a little more limited online. Make sure you guys snag them if you want them. We got the black and kind of starfish orange and cream vibe. We got a couple louder colors like this one, the hot pink. These are actually selling pretty well over here. The olive green, can't go wrong. Great neutral fall color. The orange pair, which actually ended up being one of my favorites. I know it's a little more out there, but easy to wear during the summer and the fall, so you can't go wrong with those. This is actually Brandon's favorite pair, the stealth gray, super basic short. Can really wear these with anything, can't go wrong. The hottest seller so far. These are probably gonna be the most limited online for you guys because we sold so many here at Common Hype. So a nice plain pair right there. And then we got the taupe in the orange colorway, super fire. And then these are the, uh, well actually we already dropped these, but we did restock all of collection two online as well. So you guys can go grab everything we did for that. The paisley, the orange, the blue, everything's coming in. Appreciate you guys supporting and tuning in. Now let's get into the story. Welcome to the official reveal of Common Hype HQ. It's happening. It's been a long time in the making, but this is now the outcome. And it's funny, we were just talking about it recently, how this is exactly what we pictured when we drew out everything on paper and it really just came to life. So lots of hard work, lots of blood, lots of sweat in this place. Lots of long hours, early nights. Cry? Any tears? <sighs> yeah. Early mornings, late nights. I didn't cry though. No, I didn't cry. Really? But it's time to now officially give you guys the tour of Common Hype HQ. We're gonna start it out with the front display right here. Right when you walk in, you got a nice mat. We have the CH balloons right in the corners right here. The nice plant archway going around both sidewalls right here on both sides. Black rocks. Black rocks. To accent the floor. To accent the floor. Just the details, man. Um, got the nice little fake plants to give the store a little bit of color. The big neon sign. This came out fantastic. The inspiration was from our homies over at Swiss Studios. They have one on the register like this and we were like, we have to get the same one. So we have the leaf background, neon sign on it, common hype, beautiful. We've got the register right here. We put a piece of glass on top of the register. We got the Louis Vuitton Air Forces on both sides of the register today for the grand opening. Some upsell. They didn't even know we have those. Yeah, they didn't even know. Well, now you know. We have some upsell items with Shuvenator, common hype socks, and then the entire sales floor. But first, Drew, why don't you show them the podcast room, huh? Let's do it. We've been talking to podcasts for years now. Something I've been putting in Brandon's ear, and now the boys are finally uh, getting the pod. Should we reveal the name? Do we copyright it? Do we, we no, copyright oh, we haven't trademarked it yet, yeah. so we'll wait. You don't get it yet. We went with the same floors on both sides, so what you guys see at Bryson's office, you'll see the floors. We did this nice black with the black wood accent on there. Kind of matched the whole vibe of the store. A little bit of green right here just to touch it up, so we'll have four spots. Hopefully we'll be able to do weekly podcasts, maybe soon. Maybe with some big guests, I don't know. But we'll have the cameras all set up here, all the lights in here. And we're just happy this came out. Uh, this came together. It's sick, we were gonna cheap it, not cheap it, but we didn't know how hard we were gonna go with the actual studio, the podcast, this was originally gonna be the photo studio, and then it got flipped over there because the wall in here worked better for the podcast, and last minute we decided, let's do the nice table, let's do the L-shaped table, we'll shoot it in the corner. Uh, we got mounts for the mics, we just got these nice high top comfy chairs for when we're having those good long podcasts. Big comfy too, um, that's right. And we have room for four seats, so this really came together. We ended up doing like this uh, back paneling. There's a podcast called Don't Be Sour by Max Tuning, and we really love the look of his, and we wanted to take a little bit of that inspiration and um, do a little bit toned down version of that. I'll just keep it neutral, but this will also help bounce sound off. And these are unfinished rooms. They're like 80% done, both of the studios. And we'll, there'll be some touch-ups, but I really look forward to filming on this set with you guys and having Ben behind the camera. And we're just gonna be ripping content all day. We're gonna have some great guests on this podcast. It's not gonna be limited to just sneakers, to influencers, to yeah. celebrities, to, to business guys. Athletes. It's, it's gonna be awesome. And Drew did mention the sports podcast. That's something that him and I have been wanting to do forever. That's something that we can do in this, in this room. So we're really excited about this and I'm really happy, like Bryson said, we did not cheap out on it. We made it exactly how we wanted it to look and it turned out fabulous. We got Brandon to spend a couple extra dollars. It'll be worth it though, because this is literally a content HQ. Like this is literally, there's content everywhere. Every corner it's you look- It's not called HQ because we want to, you know, big it and put yeah. HQ in our name. Like it's our headquarters, it's our warehouse, it's- This is everything. It's our office, it's everything. Speaking of offices though. Oh, let's get over there. All right, so the second studio right here is the photo studio and also doubles as my office as well as Ben. Let me take the camera from you real quick, Ben. Oh, Ben on the cam. Ben reveal, huh? In front of the cam. We got the new desk right here, the office chair. Got both PCs set up. Got Bryson's big, one single monitor. I got the dual monitor set up. Mm -hmm. Gotta have two windows, you know. So, Ben actually helped us shoot the lookbook and I forgot to 
introduce you guys to him. So we're gonna be working uh, together every day to knock out content. I'm gonna have him during the week. So we're gonna do some crazy stuff for you guys. I'm really excited to work with him. Uh, we've already done some crazy stuff and we put this video together that you guys watch. So if you guys enjoy it, drop a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You guys saw the house tour. So it's basically, I moved my home office here. Uh, we put the old neon sign from the store. We wanted to display it somewhere and it just kind of made sense in here. So it's cool to have this. It's more like a relic at this point. I got a Lyrical Lemonade Bear Brick. I got some Lyrical Lemonade plush pillows down here. Shout out Cole Bennett. Um, and just a bunch of different figures, Astro Boy with stuff, different plants and stuff just to keep it green. And then we have the PC setup office. We're gonna be doing all the editing in here. We're gonna be doing photo studio. So I have backdrops coming. Um, again, it is my office, but it's mainly for the photo studio so we can shoot in-house content of everything on the go whenever we need it. We don't have to drive to a studio. And this is something that I've literally been thinking about the last eight months working every day from home, sitting in my office, being able to have a space and still being around the boys I and mean, being close to the store, gonna be really exciting. So look forward to the Instagram, Common Hype, TikTok, Common Hype, YouTube, obviously this channel, and then we'll get you guys more information on the podcast soon, but we're gonna have a lot of content flooding. So if you guys really enjoy our content, you're gonna be able to watch it a lot more than you guys currently are. Don't forget the Whatnot mouse pad. Yeah, shout out Whatnot. Who hooked me up with this? I think it was, it was Ryan or Gabe. Shout out to you guys, I still use it. I was like, oh, I could go buy a plain black one, but they serve the same purpose. And then the Marikami rug. Whoever spilled coffee on it, I'm gonna find you. Cause no one's messing it up, me. man. Huh? He thinks yeah, it was me. It was, bad, it was, it was me. You're fired, bro. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> okay, so moving to the display case now. This was the huge project that we've been waiting months on. Unfortunately, it's not finished, but it wouldn't be a common high grand opening if something wasn't done last minute and if something wasn't unfinished. So it is what it is. As you guys can see, there's a gap right here between this glass. This was actually really hard to measure out for these glass guys. Um, they have to do some last minute measurements on getting that done correctly. We're also going to include a middle glass shelf all the way around too. So as much as we like the two shoe display right here, we're gonna be able to put even more shoes in the display case. So right now we have do not touch glass because it's really fragile right now. They just got it in. There's still some things we got to kind of figure out. We still have to put neon lights in or LED lights within the glass display case. So uh, this is an unfinished project right now, but unfortunately we have to open uh, for the grand opening. It looks damn good. It looks really, really, really good. The lighting is really, really good in here. We still have some things that we want to do with, with different lighting fixtures and everything, but that's currently how the display case looks. And in the back, we have the register. Come back here with me. There's a lot of space back here in this register. So much room for activities. So much room for activities. And it allows our sales associates to, to really sell to the best of their abilities. New common hype tote bags with every single purchase now in store. We wanted to get away from the brown shopping bag, the brown paper bag. We wanted to do something crazy. You can fit a pair of shoes right in this box, just like that, and then you can walk out. The reason we did this is because we wanted something reusable. We have one of our new logos, our Japanese kanji logo in Common Hype with our new website, commonhype.com, because we officially purchased that. We're no longer commonhypeaz.com, we're commonhype.com. Coming to the back wall, more of a leaf wall than it is a grass wall. Bryson's whole thing was grass isn't growing walls. I didn't want, our, I didn't want our back wall look like a football field. Oh, our last, our last, it was a small piece of turf in our last store. It's a big wall to cover. We ended up spending a little bit extra money and a little harder on the install for the for the leafy kind, but I, I think, think it, it turned out well. well. Yeah, totally did. Great Sometimes call. he actually trusts me with stuff and we get it done and we threw the same grass on the front and yeah. it looks great, pops the neon and yeah, I'm happy he, I convinced him to do that. It was a great call. It was a really great call. We'll look at the hype sign right here. Got these nice balloons that Crystal from More Heat made us, so really big shout out to her. On this side, we've got uh, Yeezys. We've got Jordan 4's Essentials on these now floating racks. We put the yellow on the sides just for safety hazards for you guys. We've also have Common Hype Apparel now in the actual LED shelving built in. One of the best things that we came up with though was the Common Hype Custom Hangers. We were tired of the Ikea hangers that we had and I was like, you know what, this is gonna be such a luxury store, why don't we make even the littlest details important. And that does not include just shirts, it includes shorts as well. And speaking of shorts, we also have a brand new collection exclusively available for the grand opening, the floral, the desert, just some awesome, awesome They're everywhere, man. Yes, and you guys know we sell a lot of shorts. They'll be online for you guys soon, but we wanted to give in-store people first dibs because we always do online first and we never drop in stores, so we figured we hit the reverse button on that and give a chance for you guys, but we will have more online, hopefully, if they don't sell out today. Babe, anti-social, some expensive Travis Scott 
Cactus Jack tees in there um, are now new hats that we can officially show you guys. One thing that we haven't been able to do in the past is color palette due to our limited availability of uh, stock in the other brand that we used to use, but now it's all made in-house overseas. So one of the best things that we did was make everything common hype branded inside. It's got a brand new sweatband, so the hats are gonna last a lot a lot longer. You got the back band, the common hype still on the back. We're gonna be able to play with so many different side patches, front patches as well with different undercolor brims. Um, and now we have a CH3D puff print on the front. Um, so and it's a thicker, more It's a more durable. durable hat. It's a thicker hat. It's a better quality hat. And more importantly, it's lower priced. If you were able to get lower pricing overseas. We made you a better hat for cheaper. Exactly. Baby shoes right here at this shelf. We're gonna put some gallery hats, chrome hats and stuff like that. Moving to this side of the shop, more of our old common hype hats. We still have some back stock of these. We'll, we'll slowly sell through these, but the other styles are obviously gonna sell better in my opinion. Supreme tees right here, Chinatown Market, Drew House, a lot of dunks right here. Some unreleased stuff like the patent UNCs over there. More common hype shorts. We restocked blue, red and black paisley as well as the yellow, green and brown paisley. Believe the hype tees, gallery department tees, more dunks, remaining stock of our CH Swish tees. More new shorts. More new shorts, just crazy. These are wicked, just a stealth gray with the black. Essentials hoodies, we've got Yeezy Gap hoodies. And on this back wall, if you can look all the way up top, we've got exclusive fitteds. We've got a bunch of lightly worn sneakers that we carry um, in our used selection, and then a ton of <laughs> vintage tees as well, courtesy of More Heat. You guys know that we do those vintage drops every week. I will say, before we, we'll, we'll show them the back real quick. You guys kind of seen the back, but we read it a little bit, so we'll show you guys. I'm really, really happy with how the, the clothing racks turned out. They were gonna be in the ground. I really pushed for them to, to be into the ceiling, and we all kind of came to the consensus that you know, it would look good. We didn't really know exactly how it looked because they didn't put them up until like last week. The space is really big, but big space can get filled up really quick if there's a lot going on. But we wanted to make sure that everything kind of stayed as open as possible. Um, we just threw the benches down, but the floating effect keeps the space completely open and still allows for us to have plenty of storage. I just think every little detail that we spent so much time fine tuning and We'd spend hours on just the littlest thing, trying to nail down what we wanted and to have it actually fully come together, is, it's nuts. We put a lot of hard work into this. We had a friends uh, and family soft opening last night. Uh, you guys will see that in the next video for the grand opening. Today's actually the grand opening. We just got a chance to film this. We just finished the store this morning. <laughs> the store was unfinished last night. We really pushed this to the wire and yeah, we're really proud of how it came out. You guys can't tell on camera because you guys are obviously not in store. We, there's a great, great scent in here as well. We, purchase this expensive scent air freshener, essentially. The store smell is absolutely amazing. Last but not least, we have two front TVs right here. We'll pay Common Hype YouTube videos, and then we'll also do our own Common Hype ads. Remember that? On that TV. That was we were in Atlanta the in the, uh, oh yeah. Our alarm went off at 3 a.m. Yep. After we just went to bed at one. Yep. We were so down bad that trip. All right, come to the back warehouse with me. You'll see all the boys. We and ladies. Bo. And ladies. Yes. Bobo. Hey, well, how's we got it going? Bo house. Bobo came Bo, real in. Real quick, what do you keep at the store? Incredible. I mean, it's just hands down one of the best stores I've been in and I said it on my thing on my camera um, I I wouldn't be just saying that even if I didn't know you guys I think the store turned out absolutely perfect and the vision that I knew you guys talked about with me personally and privately of how you want it to look, you really just spit it. I saw another story that kind of did the same thing. They kind of talked about it before and then they spit it out and it actually turned out really great. You guys are another great example of like how you guys saw the vision and then you just spit it out on a canvas pretty much. You know, kind of an analogy there, but yeah, I love it, man. It's great. Appreciate I'm really it. proud of you guys. Obviously I've seen, you know, you guys from B3 TV days all the way till now. So I know we've talked about it off camera, but Thank I'm you. just really excited for today, man. Thank you. It's We're so stoked hyped. too. So hype, man. I'm glad I could help as much as possible. You but, like the hat too? I mean, do it. Debatably, honestly, one of my favorite hats. It's an F and F hat. Yeah. yeah Johnson, you know about it. We have Johnson in the house. First of all, he's got the new Common Hype Racing hat on. How do you like the new hat compared to the old hat? I like it. Yeah. I like it better. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. If it's good, it's good. If it's good, it's good. All right. Let's, let's go to the back here. <laughs> oh my God. Back. Oh my God. I'm back. I fell off oh and I came back. <laughs> All right, we got the whole team here. Hey, Alyssa, you Steve, gotta show Jojo. Steve, Ben, Bry, Jace, Tracy, Joey. Nate's obviously back in town. Our boy Sam over there. You saw him in the lookbook. You'll see him in many more lookbooks. And another special guest. We've got the Godsoul boy. All the way from Boston. Yo. How do you like the shop? 
dude. How do I like it? You guys put together a masterpiece. Are you serious? Thank you, too. I wouldn't miss it for the world, too. We're gonna put something crazy together, God's all too, huh? If they would actually come. Come soon. Next week. We'll be gone next week. Jonathan, this counts as a mention, by the way. So. <laughs> yeah. Mention number one, hey, chat. Look, we're not gonna be a God's soul. Tell, give them the run now. Yeah. Here's your oh, okay. So, yeah. hey, guys, we're already working here. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me pop this open real quick. We're God's soul. New York got soul. Couple days once you see this video. New York, we got. If my laptop will have it, they have to pay for better Wi Fi here. August 27th, 28th, New York. They won't be there. You got Antonio Brown we got, we got Antonio you got Brown pulling up, though. JLP will be there Joel from Lapuma Complex. Is, he does not go to events, but we were talking about this last night. This is his first sneaker event. That's, that's pretty yeah. crazy that you guys were able to get him. First sneaker yeah. event. It's yeah. going to be a movie he's, with him. He's, he's an icon in the culture, yeah. for real. Yes. And then maybe I'll be able to persuade them, grand opening. Maybe they'll come. They've been telling me no for the past three weeks, so we'll see what happens. Anyways, back warehouse space. This is. Still disorganized. We are not finished with this yet. You guys can see we have some desks, office chairs, and stuff like that. We got to think this, this one's Drew's desk. Yeah, 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 that's definitely Drew's desk right there. Networking king. Uh, but it's all kind of organized merch and stuff. Shoes over there. You guys have kind of seen that. That's a tour of Common Night HQ. So we really hope you guys enjoyed it. We cannot thank you guys enough for the support. If you guys are ever out in Arizona, do your best to come check it out. Because I, I really right by the airport. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be here every single day now. I know a lot of times when at the old star, you guys were wondering where we were. We were always at home working. But now we're under the HQ will be here basically Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday or so. Um, you guys are gonna be able to have the opportunity to come see us as well. I can't wait to meet a lot of you guys. You guys can meet a bunch of the other team as well and, and just really see something something really different and that's the main goal with it. And, and hopefully you guys can get a great customer experience while you're here because we've really hammered these guys. I mean, look at look at Steve, man. You don't wanna see that face when you come in? Funny, Brandon says we might be here uh, Monday through Saturday, but Drew and some other guys might not be. Uh, should we not to know? No, that's gotta be its own video. Qualified. Really? All right, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Never mind. Well, you just got the hand, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, next video, you guys are gonna see me and Ben are gonna chop this up. Hope you guys see it like no later than Wednesday next week. And then you guys are gonna see the grand opening video next weekend. Content gets pumping after that. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe because if you guys like the channel now, you're gonna really love it for the rest of this year and going forward. We're really gonna put some work into these videos and the content and we're really excited to take it to as far as we can go. So comment your favorite part of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, like, subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at Common Hype and on TikTok because you guys are going to see a lot more content. Thank you guys for tuning in. We have a grand opening to attend to right now. We'll see you in the next video.